Good morning, this is Pete at Bish's RV of the Quad Cities, and today I want to present to you this great Zinger 18BH unit manufactured by Crossroads RV. Again, this presentation is brought to you by Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. All right, let's point out a few things here on the standard A-frame here. This one has a crank jack right there. There is the option to install a power tongue jack if you wish. This one has the 20 pound LP tank. And that has the preset regulator right behind it there. You do have a battery cut off right underneath, right there. And safety chains, the whole nine yards like you would expect. On the aerodynamic front, pass through there. On the front over here, we have, I believe it's a 10 foot awning. Uh, it's a power awning, 12 volt power awning with the LED strip lighting in behind it like you can see right on it. All right, over to here, we have the one step Folding staircase for the easy entry in there. Radius cut door for the safety of your awning. Help preserve that. Now back over past the handle. Here you have the exterior GFC protected electrical outlet with the a, uh, jack for the addition of the exterior television set. Dry weight on these units, 3,400 pounds. Oh, so towable by smaller tow vehicles. If you have a tow capacity in a ballpark of 5,000 pounds, hey, you're good to go here. All right, tongue weight on it is 426 pounds. You are prepped for the easy addition of a rear vision or backup camera right through there. On the back here, there's a city water connection and your two, there's two GFs, uh, or excuse me, two coaxial connections on there for the addition of an exterior camp uh, satellite system or camp cable. If your uh, site has cable, you're ready to go right there. It's prepped and ready to add that on. All right, 30 amp twist lock electrical connection right through there now you have a pair of frame mounted stabilizer jacks crank down stabilizer jacks right through there now here is your dump valves right through there you do have a fresh water capacity of 27 gallons your gray water capacity is 30 gallons and the black tank is also a separate 30 gallons okay we're going to open it up here does include the cord set there's your twist lock 30 amp um cord set approximately 25 feet long whoa look at this plenty of storage through here so this is very generous storage it's not a pass-through but it is very generously apportioned in there you have your crank included in there for the crank down jacks that we just discussed okay your overall height on the unit is uh 9.7 inch that does include the uh ac on it too overall length 21 feet over here is your gravity filler Gravity water fill for the easy addition of your uh, water if you wish to use the onboard freshwater 27 gallon tank. Down underneath here, there's a little charge port there. Hey, they did include the charge port for the easy um, ability for you to winterize the unit. Of course, if you get your unit here at Bish's, we'll do the winterizations for you. You don't have to worry about that. How about that? Okay, over into here, another storage bay. Let's open this one up and take a look in here. And you look and whoa dude holy cow you can fit dead zombies in there and, and you could well no don't do that but anyway um this particular unit does have the optional solar one kit so you do have the solar panel on the roof there is your go power converter right in underneath here in the storage bay we'll bring it back out and shut this down here it's starting to rain here so we're going to move along here clip along a little bit now, some of these units do have an exterior ladder on them. This one does not. So that is an option on some of these units. So always inquire regarding some of the optional equipment on some of them. Now we're gonna step onto the inside. Oh, you know what? I forgot about the, the this is the cap lifter. Can't miss that. All right, there we go. With the doggy leash holder too. Helps you keep track of Fido. All right, this is that excellent strip lighting that goes on right on there, right across that awning electrically deployed awning i'm going to step on into here with another reminder this presentation is brought to you by bish's rv of the quad cities out here in eldridge iowa i'm going to shut the door this interior decor is the steely gray decor other decor options may be available do inquire about that all right let's start right across here we just stepped in obviously through the doorway but this is a radius cut door with the separate screen door and you do have the deadbolt security latch right through there over here is your systems monitor panel. Now, that includes your water pump. That's for use when you're using your onboard water. Water heater, that's for your six gallon gas-fired water heater. That's to control it from inside here. Exterior 
and ceiling light controls as well. Now here is where your electrical awning control is. Very conveniently located. You can supervise it right through the doorway and away you go. This is the system's monitor panel portion right through here where it'll indicate your level on both battery, black, fresh, and gray tanks. Okay, down underneath here, safety equipment. You have the fire extinguisher as well as the safety detector mounted right below there. All right, let's talk a little bit about the kitchen options right through here. I'm going to back out and let you see the kitchen area, kitchenette area. You have the acrylic mounted sink with the high rise faucet. And over here is your two burner high output suburban stove top. Up above is the microwave oven. And it's a generously sized microwave oven on there as well. Now, refrigerator. There are some options in terms of the refrigerator. This one in particular is showing the gas and electric Norcold refrigerator and freezer. I'm gonna open it up here. We do have some models that do feature the all electric refrigerator. Some folks prefer one, some prefer the other. Some don't really matter one way or the other. If you have the gas one, such as this, that is an eight cubic foot refrigerator. If you opt for the electric only ones, that would be a 10 cubic foot refrigerator. Okay, we're gonna close that up. Down below underneath here would be your furnace. That would be a 16,000 BTU furnace. Plenty of heat capability in here for the use on chilly days or evenings or nights or what have you. The thermostat port, by the way, is right on over here on the wall. There you go. All right, here's the Thetford Foot Flush Marine Grade Stool right over there. Here is the radius cut awning, or not awning, but the radius um, shower curtain is what I'm trying to say. There we go. And with the famous fan up above, we know what the fan is for. I mean, I know, let's not go into that. Okay, uh, this would be <laughs> the shower and down below. Hey, it is a tub shower on here. Some prefer that, some would rather not. It's really handy if you're not going to be taking a bath bath in it to um, use that for the uh, pop or for <clears throat> uh, other beverages that you might want to put on ice in there. That's a possibility. Or otherwise, it makes a great little shower. And away you go. Now, check out the width on these bunks. These bunks are awesome. Look how wide that is. That's well over three feet wide. I'm gonna say it's approaching 40 inches in width on there. You could fit two smaller kids on each bunk. Plenty of sleeping capacity, 300 pounds weight capacity on there. There's lighting and AC outlets, as you can see right there on the upper bunk, as well as down below, same thing, same routine. Your downstairs patron here gets the use of the egress window with the blinds. After the blinds are, are, are drawn up, you can use that egress window as a full functioning window. Very easy to do. And uh, it can be used under normal circumstances. All right, this is the convertible dinette that you're looking at right through here. And you can convert that over for the use of two sleeping patrons. Otherwise, you can comfortably have four people here at dinner time. All right, here's the sound bars, AM, FM, and you do have an USB and an auxiliary jack, eighth inch mini plug jack on there as well. All the window treatments do include the pull down blinds. I left them about halfway pulled down so you can see these are both functioning, full function windows on there as well. This would be the TV backer area. This is where you would mount your optional TV. It's an option you may choose at your discretion. You do have the coax as well as the 110 volt GS GFCI protected electrical outlets there. And it's all prepped for the easy addition of a television set at your discretion. Okay, we're gonna back up here again. Don't forget you have that three year warranty on these units. That is fantastic. A neat thing to bear in mind. Again, fresh, gallon, uh, fresh capacity, 27 gallons, 30 gallons each for each of the gray and the black tanks. All right, plenty of generous lighting on here. Look at that, two lights right up over the bed. More than what would probably be needed but uh, that's a really cool thing to have in there. Shirt closet is right on there. You have a GFCI protected electrical outlet in behind the bunk right there. So if you need to add a, if you're using a CPAP or want to charge your cell phone at night or what have you, that would be the way to do that. Now, let's talk a little bit about the ceiling up here. 81 inch ceiling height throughout here. And it's a flat ceiling overall. Uh, so you have 81 inches both on the exterior edges, the left and the right edge, as well as up in the middle. And also a powered vent 
up here. Not just in the bathroom, <clears throat> not that vent, but this one also for kitchen use or general cooling down of the unit. Speaking of cooling it down, hey, here we go. 13,500 BTU. This is the Coleman Mach air conditioner with the fast cool, fast blast, the chiller on there, the chiller controls front and back on there. It'll chill it down in no time flat when you're in a hurry to get it cooled off and you get down to your campsite. Okay, as I said, we have a number of these units in stock. We would love to see you out here at Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. I want to thank you for your time in here today, and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks much.